All right, three, two, one, bam. Yo, yo, it's your boy Timmy Lee Lee once again. You know, it's later in the day now, and um, it's an awesome day, I say. Um, another day that you know God has given us all for grace. And uh, I don't know, I don't know when I'm gonna like release these videos or when I'm gonna start. You know, I gotta wait for my internet to cut back on, of course. Uh, I just been moved to just. I said just to do this, and um, I think I said a couple videos ago, this would be my last time really talking about it, but, you know, I'm, I really want to put emphasis on taking action, and um, there's too many people that just don't take action, and, 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 and what they need to do, and then you sit around and you look at other people, and, 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 and feel envious, and jealous, and, covetous and you complain about your life because you're looking at somebody else doing what people put in work to to get to where they are people you know, so I'm still in the beginning stages of you know getting out of just the habits of procrastinating and just getting out the habit of just being lazy uh, I realize just because I don't I'm not employed by anybody. Doesn't mean like I don't have work to do. You know? First of all, it's work to raise children and to, to care for children first and foremost. Like me being a single father really like changed my life forever. But um, I feel like there's a deeper purpose. Like even getting this camera, I feel like you know, it was. I wanted to do wedding videos and and. and shoot for the business and stuff like that and ended up turning into something completely different like I started a clothing company you know because of that I know um, which things will be out on my website soon enough at www.timmyleeglean.net but regardless of that I got this camera here I got good sound hold on one second just want to double check make sure to Yep, battery good, all right. I've been blessed with this, you know, and I've been sitting here not using this stuff and um, just letting it collect dust. I probably used this camera more in the last couple of days for content than I did this whole year and a half of having it. And, and, and that's sad. And um, God don't bless us with things just so we could just just let us sit around idle. God don't give us this youthful energy even in our youth to, to be idle. You know? As of late, God just put this battery in my back to just go, go, go. And, uh, just this battery in my back to just go and just do something. Uh, there's too many people in this world that just live and exist. And I've seen the results of people that just exist. You know, like, people have things that they want to do in life or should be doing in life or could be doing in life, but they allow the, the trials of life to just bring them down. And another thing that I want to really talk about is once you're on that right path, you know, like, opposition going to come. Once you're doing what God really wants you to do, the devil will be lurking. Once you're in God's will and you're really fulfilling his purpose and you're doing his good work, you're gonna get attacked. The more that you live a righteous life and, and, and more that you strive to be holy, the more that you strive to be like Christ, you're gonna suffer the persecution just as Jesus said, you know, we'll suffer these things for his sake. But he that loses his life on this earth will gain it eternally. You know, and I think I kind of paraphrase that. I, you probably gonna notice I'm gonna paraphrase a lot of these scriptures, but I'm gonna have it there so you actually can read for yourself. Cause I always push people to read for themselves. But. And it'd be so crazy though, like once you be in your purpose, it'd be the most unexpected people that'll be used against you. And this is something that I've known my my three years of walking with God and my two years of being a Christian. It'd be people. 
like you, you have no idea <laughs> you know you'd be like man this person cool like this you know like you think people cool you know until you start getting close to the righteousness and and people just start uncovering themselves you start to see people's true colors and this one i realized like as the scripture says it says many are called but few are chosen i really believe and, and feel strongly about being a chosen one and I'm not trying to come over here to brag about, you know, my position with God or anything like that. But just know when you're chosen, your life is going to be harder than the normal person. You're going to suffer a lot more, you know, just because, like, people's lives are harder because they make it harder. But if your life is harder for the sake of doing things right, that's different. You know, like, but as the scripture says, it says, um, ah, I'm trying to see it says you'll be weary, you know, in doing right, you know, like, or something like that. You know, but I'm going I'm to put the scripture down there, too, so <laughs> you get it. So I'm not just butchering scripture. I, I know it's in my spirit, you know. I, I have a lot of the word in my spirit. It's just more so just repeatedly reading things and, and just getting it down in, in my system. I, I know it's in my spirit. It's just sometimes, like, I would have to Google the scripture. I know a bunch of stuff in my head. You know, glory to God, and I apply it in my life. I just don't know exactly where to look in the Bible. So don't think that I'm just some dude that's just uneducated or, uh, yes, I can't say in a sense I am uneducated, but don't, don't think I'm just this dude that's just, you know. Honestly, I don't even care what you think, really. You know, I have a relationship with the, the Heavenly Creator and with His Son, Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for me. And... I'm confident in my salvation. You know, we all work it out in fear and trembling. And um, like I said, I'm on this narrow path. Um, I'm very confident that I'm on a narrow path. I'm not being deceived and not deceiving myself because the power of the Holy Spirit really reveals all things to me. And if I stray too far, like I, I either get convicted or I get brought back. God knows how to work with His chosen. And uh, I said, even though I believe that I'm an Israelite, you know, I believe God's chosen people goes beyond being an Israelite. It goes beyond bloodline, but it goes, you know, along the lines of, you know, who belongs to Jesus. You know, it just... Excuse me. No. But I can just tell you, my own personal life just... I feel like great things have been happening, and I ain't going to tell you everything that's been happening, but I I just feel the clutches of the enemy, you know? Like, when I was in my perpetual sin, you know, like, smoking weed and, and, and black mouths and, you know, uh, just the pornography and all that stuff. Um, I was more so, I feel like, last year being tormented from the thoughts of God really looking down and watching me do this stuff. And as I'm aware of that, I still do those things. And I feel like just that torment comes from just falling into condemnation. Once you start to feel that healthy conviction and also like be able to confess your sins. You know, if, if you're open enough to confess your sins to people, like you really gonna feel better. It says that in the scriptures, like confess your sins to one another. and. and Others may pray for you and that you may be healed from the things that, you know, you're, you're partaking in. And that's a real thing. And, you know, it don't, it, 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 it takes that part of you away from the enemy. You know, so I remember um, my pastor, he told me to read like Romans 6, 7, and 8, you know, when I was deep in my sins, when I was talking to him, when I backslid. And, um... I read Romans 6, 7, and 8 for like a whole month straight. <laughs> just got that seat down in my system. And it's just, it's, but it did something to me that really brought me out of what I was doing before. So um, I believe it's just a wonder and a miracle that God has done in me. Wow. And since then, I've been walking a more, more deeper in the spirit, you know, walking a more righteous path. Uh, Seeking the kingdom and his righteousness and many things have been added, especially I look at the spiritual blessings more than even the physical things, you know, but um, And um, I've been walking in this victory for for a little while now you know? And it's like 
Yeah. Yeah. The enemy trying to get me now. <laughs> really, I'm really trying to, like, these strongholds, like, I've been delivered from strongholds that I've dealt with for 20 years, 10 years. You know, like, literally, like, God has took it out of my life. I've been delivered. Like, I'm, I'm done. So now it's like, the enemy been using people now, like using things. <laughs> you, you, this is, this is on all sides, just attacks on all sides. You be like, man, like, literally attacks on all sides, on all ends. I never had this type of warfare before. I, I feel strongly about the warfare when I was breaking out of the new age and getting more into, you know, the most high and learning more about Christ. I've dealt with just, just th those demonic spirits and entities trying to just continue to cleave on to me. But besides that, I never felt this before. Like walking righteously. You know, like doing, not to, I'm not trying to say this in a puffed up way. I mean, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I get to walk this walk. Thank God. Glory to God for this. But the more you walk in the ways of God, it, it, it's crazy. It's just, the more of God's work that you're doing, the enemy going to try to halt it. The enemy going to try to steer you away. The enemy going to try to distract you. The enemy going to try to just destroy you completely and utterly. Just waiting on who he can devour, you know. And, and once you got people that you can't really devour anymore, the enemy, they, I know that frustrates the enemy. I know that frustrates these demons in hell. You know that, man. Yeah, yeah, God got one. God got a soldier. And that doesn't mean I'm perfect. That doesn't mean that I'm sinless. I deserve to go to hell just as well as anybody else. That's why Jesus died for us. But what I'm saying is I'm moving in the spirit now and the enemy doesn't like it. I'm teaching my children the ways that they should go and the enemy don't like that. So the enemy is definitely going to try to halt me. The enemy will try to even use things in the house with my children the enemy gonna try to use just others around me that's that's that been around the enemy's gonna try to use circumstances the enemy gonna try to use just certain just throw hooks at me like and if you were chosen one then you know exactly what i'm talking about you know but ultimately that ain't gonna stop me from doing what i need to do you know for my family they ain't gonna stop me from Read my word ain't gonna stop me from praying, ain't gonna stop me from congregating and, and, and from fellowshipping with, uh, you know, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and it ain't gonna stop none of that, you know, and all this stuff really motivates me more and more. You know, at my church, they've been talking about, um, it's like the days of Noah more, and I just look around in society, it's literally like the days of Noah, just with a technological twist to it. So the days of Noah with technological advancement and I feel like it's just the beginning. Like it hadn't been even revved up yet to, to the to the level of wickedness and evil that's about to be out here. But I feel like them seeds have been planted ever since the days of Noah. <laughs> you know, and the enemy knows what he's doing. You know, using the airwaves and just like a whole bunch of stuff to really just you know, push his culture. You know, but we as God's children are here to push the culture of the kingdom. The kingdom culture is the kingdom lifestyle. Uh, we're pilgrims in this land, you know, so the enemy knows that we're outsiders and the enemy will use people, like I said, against you. And people don't even know they're being used, you know? People don't know what's happening within them when they're opposed to you for no reason. People don't know what's happening in them when they're evil towards you for no reason or they're petty with you for no reason and you ain't even do nothing to them but once you chosen this stuff gonna happen persecution happens to those that are in Christ man to those that follow the ways of the most high <laughs> the more you, you want to follow the ways of the most high the more the enemy gonna just try to utterly destroy you to try to steer you away from the word, to try to steer you out of prayer, to try to steer you out of fellowship with the brethren, to try to, you know, steer you away from accountability, to steer you away, just sear your conscience so you don't feel convictions for things that you should be convicted about. The enemy will do anything and everything in his power to just drag you down. All this effort, knowing that you already lost, you're just trying to just so jealous of God's creation and you want to bring as many of us down as possible. You know, and I said, once you, once you on this semen retention journey, like I said, and I said, I said I'm gonna be mentioning it in a bunch because I've, I've been 
watching a, a lot of content over these years and I just feel like this is the biggest weapon that the enemy uses is 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 is, is these industries these adult film industries man and just the lust of the eyes the fashion and how it's progressed into pushing lust and, and it just entices men you know like they want you to waste your seed waste your energy they want you to be effeminate they don't want you to step up and be a masculine man they don't want you to hold your seed within and, and really transmute that energy into your your destiny and purpose and knowing that god's gonna bless you for honoring your temple and yet the enemy tries to send temptations and it seemed like when it's so crazy when It seemed like the more I, 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 the deeper I walk into this life, it's just like, I don't know, it just seems like the booties get bigger. This is crazy, it's just like, wow, like, it just walks past me like this, <laughs> like, trying to keep, get catch me slipping, because knowing the Timmy before, feeding into the spirit of lust, stuff like that enti would entice me, but now it's, man, I'm... I'm covered by the blood, I ain't in that anymore, and, and I'm just so thankful and grateful. Man, I'm thankful that God has given me the type of humility and just also just the, the freedom to be able to I was talking to one of the brothers at church earlier and I'm, I'm, I'm glad that God has given me this type of spirit to be able to just honestly express myself to be able to speak about the things that I go through to be able to as the scripture says confess your sins to one another you know as I just said earlier I, I'm glad I'm like this I'm glad. I'm glad that I could be straightforward and just talk to you about all the evil that I was in. And I'll tell you down to the date. Like that's that, that's where I'm at with it because if I'm to be a testimony of somebody, if I'm to help somebody else, especially if somebody's going through something that I'm going through and I've gained victory in it by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit moving in me to help deliver me, you know, because I, I'm not my own. I've been bought with a price. So if, if I can bring this revelation to somebody else, if I can bring this motivation to somebody else, if I can tell my testimony and it helps somebody like other people's testimonies help me out, then I'm going to do so. And like I said, I ain't, I ain't really trying to be on no trend or nothing, like I said, talking about, you know, this, this retention thing. But ultimately, I really care about your soul. I care about your eternal soul enough to just tell you this stuff. And um, a lot of people ain't gonna care for you the way that I care for you. And you're a stranger if you're watching this. You know, it may, it may be some people I know. It may be some people I know watching this stuff. Very few. Because last I checked, it ain't that many people from my time watching my stuff. But it's crazy, people watch me still, waiting on my next move. And that could be a positive and a negative. And maybe people waiting on me. Like Buffalo needs something. This world needs something. They need to see see the light of Christ moving through this city. They need to see the light of Christ moving in this country, this nation. They need to see the light of Christ moving through this world. You know, and God done amazing works through Christ and, and, and just as he used Christ, you know. Through Christ, you know, he could do amazing works through me, you know, and just, just him being the head of my life, that's that's just enough for me already. But I I have a deeper fire to to do God's work now and not to do what I want to do. I would just move to just bring this camera out here and just talk. I don't know what I'm going to talk about and I ain't really trying to move carnally, you know, just, I just have stuff to say. And... I've been had this, but now I feel like this place that I'm at now is different. Like before, when I was making content, I was still in them deep sins, and I, I, I feel different now making content in this new free place that I'm at. This this liberty in Christ, you know, to know that I'm not, you know, under condemnation anymore. You know, making videos under condemnation is, is man, it feel different than making videos now. You know, but. Just the light of God that's just flowing in me, you know, I, I hope, you know, and just I have hope that this light of God can be passed on to you, you know, that. Or even to be passed on to the people in the neighborhood that's watching these videos, you know. You know, but ultimately, uh, 
I hope something I said sparked something in your spirit, touched you in some sort of way. Um, like I said, just that light of Christ is in me. You know, I want to shed that on you if I could, you know, and and just trusting God, just, just moving the algorithms of, you know, just the internet because I I don't know what I'm I'm talking a lot about a lot of stuff and I don't know the guidelines, you know, so I'm just going to figure out as I go along. But uh I'm just ready to do God's mighty work and, and trust and believe that others take heed and I believe that God can use what I say, you know, but ultimately I said um just get on your grind, man. Get on your purpose. You know, and not just men, you know, I don't just want to focus on men, you know, but when I say men, I just mean like, we're the ones that essentially lead. And if we are to be men of God, you know, and, and we're submitted to Christ and we have wives that submit to us, you know, that's important to be able to even attract a wife that submits to you. Because once you have that, a woman that falls in that divine order, that's how you could properly raise your children. And this is about the children at the end of the day. And you could just see the state of just this nation and just the fatherlessness, and you can see the results of children without fathers. You know, so. And even see what they can grow up into. You can see the adults as the result of those parents. And we got cycles and cycles and cycles and cycles that continue. Well, guess what? I'm done. I ain't a part of this stuff. I'm not a part of this culture. I'm not a part of it. I'm set apart. I'm, I'm Kodashim. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was made to be different. I'm, I'm, I'm a pilgrim in this land. I'm, I'm, I live in this world, but I'm not of it. I, I come from a kingdom not built with hands. You know, but built on the rock of Christ. You know, foundation from God, the Godhead, God, the Most High God, Creator. Sit this Holy Spirit down to His children. And, that we, he can move through us in this earth and, and we can do God's mighty work. And so, God gonna continue to use me. I feel strongly about it. The enemy gonna keep on attacking me. And I'm not trying to pick no fight with the enemy, but I just want you a chosen one, you know, stuff like this happens. You know, but if you're a chosen one, if you're one of God's chosen, um, you know, just keep on fighting a good fight. It's, it's, be encouraged and be of good cheer, you know, that you even suffer persecution and that you go through these trials. If it ain't easy for you, you should rejoice in that because that's just showing God's light in, you, in your life and how much the enemy wants to dull that light. But keep on going. Just know that you got a prayer warrior right here praying for you. Even if I don't know you, even if you're far off, like I'll be praying for the body of Christ all around the world. and ain't, ain't just in my personal congregation I, I, I look at us as an army of God and in Buffalo I'm just a part of a platoon in Buffalo you know but there's a whole army all around the world I'm praying for y'all I'm praying for the saints around the world the martyrs there's people people in other countries you see the pe stuff that people in China are going through stuff that people in India are going through people stuff in the continent of Africa and those countries that people are going through and just all around the world you know just it's even in Canada, you know, what they're going through, you know, with a lot of the evil, wicked policies that's been kind of just trying to just quench the gospel and just, just, you know, and just quench the voices of God that God has used, you know, and we still have this grace upon America and we take it for granted. And I'm not taking it for granted anymore. You know, regardless of whatever restrictions they try to put on these videos you know i'm just gonna say what i'm gonna say and figure it out when i upload these videos and not compromise the word but just use better choice of words i guess because like i said i can be straightforward <laughs> and um uh, i could be very bold in my usage of words and like i said if i was in a more live setting it'd be different but i'm pre-recording this so you know but ultimately it's uh I just pray that, you know, may the Holy Spirit be with you, and um, thank you for watching, and God bless.